Hello neighbors in Christ and welcome to Eagle's Wings. Did you know that there are three world ages? Today's study is on 2 Peter chapter 3. So let's get our Bibles out and turn to Genesis chapter 1 verse 1. Holy Father, we ask for that word of wisdom through Christ Jesus. Amen. Genesis chapter 1 verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Have you ever asked yourself, when was the beginning? Let's look in God's, Yahweh's, living word to find out when the beginning was. We will start with the book of Job, chapter 38, verse 7. When the morning stars sang together and all the sons of God shouted for joy, So who are the morning stars? Well, they are the children of God, Yahweh, the angels in the first world age. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the book of Revelations chapter 12 is all about the first world age, where Satan rebelled against God and drew one third of God's angels with him. Now let's turn to 2 Peter Verse, chapter 3, verse 1. 2 Peter, chapter 3, verse 1. This second apostle, beloved, I now write unto you, in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance. Peter is stirring up your pure mind to remember the first world age. Have you ever had a feeling that you were here before? This question has nothing to do with being reincarnated because we are born one time through women only, one time in human flesh. Now let's get down to chapter, I mean to verse 5. For this they willingly are ignorant of that by the word of God and heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water. The first world age. Verse 6. Whereby the world that then was, being overflowed with water, perished. The world that then was, perished. This is the first world age. We can also read of the first world age in Psalms chapter 104 verses 1 through 9. David is talking about the first world age, three world ages and three different dimensions. The first dimension, when we were all living with God, Yahweh, right here on earth. The first world age in a spiritual form or body that has form and energy. Three different forms, body, spirit. So why was the first world age destroyed? Ezekiel chapter 28 tells us why. The subject in Ezekiel chapter 28 is the fall of Tyrus. Tyrus means rock, but not our rock. Christ Jesus is our rock. 
Satan is called Tyrus, and Satan fell due to his pride, and he wanted the mercy seat. Satan wanted to be God, Yahweh, and he drew one-third of God's angels to follow him. So God, Yahweh, I am, destroyed the first world age. God could have destroyed the one-third angels that followed Satan, but instead he destroyed the first world age. Why? Because God, Yahweh, loves his children, that's why. God came to earth in the flesh, born of woman, to save his people, that whoever believes upon him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Now, let's look at the phrase, the foundation of the world. The word foundation has two translations. The first is catabol. The second is themothis. The word catabol means overthrow, and the word themothis means casting down. When reading the Bible, the phrase, the foundation of the world, is the overthrow, casting down, or the catabol. If you have a companion Bible, it's the appendix number 146, catabol. If you can understand the three world ages, then you will have a better understanding of Yahweh's living word. So let's go to Genesis chapter 1 verse 2. The beginning of the book, of course. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the water. And the earth was. In Hebrew, the word was goes back to the word became. Let's read the verse again using the word became. And the earth became without form and void. So the earth became without form and void. Then why would Yahweh make the world without form and void. Yahweh would not make the earth without form and void. Think about it. So the earth became without form and void. This is called the catabol, the overthrow of Satan or the casting down of Satan. This is just one of the mysteries or secrets that Yahweh has written in his living word, the Holy Bible. We, re we read and talked about Job, Ezekiel, Psalms, and 2 Peter, while Yahweh destroyed the first world age. And you can read Revelations chapter 12 that talks about the first world age. Now let's turn to Matthew chapter 13, verse 35. Matthew chapter 13, verse 35 reads that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet saying I will open my mouth in parables I will utter things which have been kept secret from the foundation of the world 
the secret that has been kept from the foundation of the world. So what secret? Well, one secret is the word foundation that we learned through Yahweh's word, the catapult, the overthrow, casting down. Go to Matthew chapter 25, verse 34. And 34 reads, Then shall the king say unto them, On his right hand come ye, blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundations of the world. So Jesus is saying, Come ye, blessed, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the the foundation of the world. Turn to Luke chapter 11, verse 50. Matthew, Mark, Luke. 11, verse 50. That the blood of all the prophets which was shed from the foundation of the world may be required of this generation. This verse has two secrets. The first is the children before the catapult, the overthrow. God's stars, his children. The second secret is the generation, the generation of the fig tree that we are living in now. Okay, now let's go to uh, John chapter 17, verse 24. I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work which thou givest me to do. Oh, excuse me, that was four. Let's go to 24. Father, I will that they also whom thou hast given me be with me where I am that they may behold my glory, which thou hast given me. From thou lovest me before the foundation of the world. For thou lovest me before the foundation of the world. Well, what does this mean, before the foundation of the world? This is the first world age. Those who did not follow Satan. God, Yahweh's elect, who will stand against Satan when he comes saying he is the Messiah in this generation or the second world age. Are you starting to see the secret? Turn with me to Ephesians chapter 1 verse 4. Accordingly, as he had chosen us in him before the foundations of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. God, Yahweh, chosen his, his elect before the foundation of the world the overthrow of Satan in the first world age. Why? Because they stood against Satan and did not follow him in the first world age. Couple more places I want to take you and then you can go back and do your own study to show yourself approved. Second Peter chapter 3 
verses 7 through 13, where Peter is talking about the heavens and the earth, which are now, the second world age, which is now, is kept in store, reserved unto fire. Why? Because it's kept for the judgment at the end of the millennium, the thousand years of teaching. Satan will be locked up for that time. But why? So that his spirit and his supernatural form cannot deceive. The rudiments of the earth or the elements of evil will burn. Last chapter, the last book for you to go and read is Revelation chapter 13 verse 8 where the word talks about whose names are not written in the book of life. Why are their names not written in the book of life of the Lamb? slain from the foundations of the world. Why? Because they are, are the fallen stars that were born of women who followed Satan in the first world age and have not accepted our Lord Christ Jesus, Yeshua Emmanuel, as their Savior and they will worship Satan in the second world age, which is now, when he comes at the sixth seal, sixth trumpet, sixth vial, in Jerusalem, saying he is the Messiah. God's elect will be delivered up to Satan, and Yahweh will speak through them in the cloven tongue. And any person at that time will come out of Babylon, the whore, and will be saved and bow down to uh, Yeshua, Emmanuel, Christ Jesus. And God gave us free will to choose him or Satan. That's what this second world age is all about. Be patient with me. Just two more books for you to read. 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 13 and Revelation chapter 21 and 22. The third world age, new heavens and a new earth. Until next time, be well, be kind, and don't forget to spread a seed of God's Yahweh's living word. If you don't know how to spread a seed, all you have to do is say, Did you know that there are three world ages? Then let that person ask the questions. In 2 Peter chapter 3, verses 6-13. through 13.